When you watch Jonathan Bird's Blue World and enjoy our underwater adventures, you probably get the impression that everything goes smoothly and we always get our shots. It seems that way because we only make episodes out of the expeditions that result in good footage. Trust me when I tell you that it doesn't always work out as planned. Sometimes we go on a shoot and we get skunked, which means we don't get the shots. Because we work mostly underwater, there are three things that can be a challenge. Bad weather, bad visibility, and uncooperative wildlife. Weather is a huge factor in making the show. Sure, we're gonna get wet anyway, so rain isn't a terrible problem other than making our above water shots a bit dreary. Wind is the major issue. When it gets windy, the ocean gets rough. We've spent many days in the field waiting for the weather to cooperate or worse, getting thrown around on a boat in rough seas trying to get the shots in spite of the weather. Underwater visibility is always an issue. Sure, if we're working in cold, nutrient-rich water with lots of plankton, we expect limited visibility, and we're usually filming something small where you don't need much visibility. But there are times when we show up at a tropical location known for clear water, but the water isn't clear. Usually, wind is to blame, creating storm surge that stirs up the sand. Shooting big animals requires clear water, so we keep our fingers crossed for good viz whenever we need to shoot something big, but we don't always get our wish. One of the nice things about cave diving is that the water in caves is generally much more consistent than the ocean. When we're working on segments about animals, we don't just have to worry about the weather and the visibility, we also need the animals to cooperate. Sometimes they just don't. At Guadalupe Island, we once chummed for days and only got a few passes by a totally uncooperative white shark. We did a tiger shark expedition one year and no tigers showed up, just a few lemon sharks. The first time we went to Mexico to film bull sharks, they had mysteriously vanished the week before and we saw nothing. We had to wait a year to go back and do it again. On our first coral spawning shoot, the coral didn't spawn. Night after night, we waited on the ray for a spawning that just didn't happen. This kind of thing is really frustrating, but that's how nature works. There are no guarantees. It's hard to go home from an expensive expedition to some far-flung corner of the globe with nothing to show for it, but it does happen. I try to remind myself that if it were easy, everyone would do it. Not everything in life is easy, and sometimes, you get skunked. But you can't get discouraged. Sometimes you need to persevere to succeed.